All right, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q and I'm back five months later, but not actually. So let me break down a few things for you guys real quick. If you did not already know, or if you're new here, I joined Splitmine and I've been uploading YouTube videos consistently there for the last five months. If you want to know why and how I joined Splitmine, uh, hit me on DM. I guess I could explain it a little bit for you guys. But like I said, I'm uploading consistently on Splitmine now. So if you want to stay up to date with me, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to Splitmine on YouTube just so you can see my videos more often and just see what I'm doing. I'm going to try and upload videos more often on this channel. But the majority of my time and effort is going to be into split minds, so the videos are always going to be better there and just more worth your time. All right, but anyways, I figured since I'm here, I'll break down a beat I made for you guys. I made this beat behind some Playboy Cardi vocals for the song At Me, At Me, At Me, At Me. But anyways, when I finished the beat, I figured it kind of sounded like that, like new Uzi, Playboy Cardi, and if you don't know who Mario Judah is, the dude who's going to drop a whole lot of red before Cardi does, because that man is just late to the game. But anyways, he has like this uh, Playboy Cardi sound in his new song that he dropped. I'm going to just pop it up on the screen, so right here. But without any further ado, let's get into this beat. So like I said, right off the top, we got the uh, Playboy Cardi almost studio acapella. It sounds like this. I It's pretty much just dry. I added a little bit of reverb to it. All right, and then I'm gonna break down like my creative process in how I went to make this melody and the drums behind it. So I basically just after I downloaded this acapella, I went on Google and typed in the BPM and key for the song, and it came up as 151, and it's also in B minor. The original song is produced by Jetson, by the way. The first thing I ended up doing was I opened this patch from Electra X right here from a Studio Plug called Pluck 28, and it sounds like this. And all I did was loop the part of the Play With Cardi song with the vocals in it, and I just built this melody behind it. And all I'm doing here is just creating these chords by going to the scale helper, the scale highlighting tab right here, going to B minor, because that's what the song is in. And I pretty much just laid down these notes right here, or these triad chords. There is four, yeah, four chords. So you got this chord right here, B, D, F sharp. Then you got this one, F sharp, four, A, and C sharp. You got this chord, G, B, and D. Then we go up a little bit to D, F sharp, and A. And then I took the same exact chord and basically just inverted it a little bit and took this top note and brought it down as a bass note. And then in between those chords, we have a little bit of filler notes, like right here, right here, and right here. And when I play this soloed, it sounds like this. But yeah, you kind of get an idea for what I was going with that. And then the second thing I did was I pulled up an instance of addictive keys, just the normal patch. And I started going around and just clicking in some random like top melody notes. This is what I came up with, but I didn't really like how the piano sounded. So I got this one shot right here called everything. And it sounds like this. And I just copied that same exact pattern that I made with the addictive keys, pasted it here, and this is what we got. You can see it kind of just added like some top melody there, just added some higher frequencies. Next thing I was really feeling was like this pad sound, like right at the end of the second bar. So I took this one shot right here called clipping pad. Sounds like this. And what I did here is super simple. The main melody that I created, I just played that same exact triad right here. And I added this little slide note. So when I play these three sounds together, this is what you get. You can hear that pad in the background. It kind of has that high end and then it glides back down to that lower note. Next thing I added was a simple pitch bend. It's a one shot. And basically what a pitch bend is, is exactly what I did with that pad. When you take a note, and have it slide down to a lower note. So when I play that with the other three sounds, you get this. So the final thing I wanted to add to the melody was a lead, just because I've been hearing this a lot in like Play Riccardi type beats and like anything really Jetson produces, kind of like that like new pop sound, even new pop. What? But anyways, it's a one shot that I got and it sounds like this yeah it's kind of just a lead but i guess it's a flute and i played this pattern right here all 
All right, so the last thing I did was just added a bass, and it's just a one shot that sounds like this. All I did was follow the root note of the main chord progression, and the whole melody sounds like this. All right, so after the melody was finished, it was time to move on to the drums. The first thing I actually did was the clap and then the hi-hat, so I'll play those two together. Clap is a super simple, your normal uh, clap pattern, but right on the last uh, clap, uh, fourth bar, I have like a little second clap. I'll let you guys hear what that sounds like. Add the hi-hat in. First snare. And then I added one more snare. And the last drum I added was just the 808, which is actually from my new kit. Most of these drums I actually use are from um, my new drum kit, which is on Drumify. So if you're interested in copying that, it is in the link in my bio. But this is what the 808 sounds like. So yeah, super cool pattern, a little unique, and I added a little like reverse 808. And then the only thing left to do after that was to just add in the acapella, and this is what everything together sounds like. And then after that, I began arranging the song, and what I did behind the arrangement was kind of what an engineer would do. I kind of added my own effects, so I added some like cool delays, some cool transitions, reverb transitions, and just a bunch of stuff like that. So I'll break down what I did for you guys. So the first thing I did was added this impact sound at right at the beginning. It sounds like this. So you can kind of hear it has like that. And then some of the other things I did was on the acapella mixer track right here. I added a uh, this reverb right here and this delay eternity. And basically what this is for is during the part with the bass, which kind of works as like a breakdown and an intro in some parts, I have the reverb almost all the way up so it sounds super spacey. And then right before it drops, I have this delay eternity automation clip where it goes all the way up so there's a huge delay on the vocal. Like right when it drops. So I'll let you guys listen to that. Then yeah, like I said, the rest of it was just uh, messing around with the arrangement of the song, making it sound good and trying to make it sound with how I want the vocals to be. And yeah, that is how I made the second version of At Me by Playboard Cardi. If you guys want me to upload this song to YouTube, leave a comment and let me know maybe i'll do it hopefully i don't get a copyright strike but other than that that is the entire video so if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think also subscribe to the split mind channel and follow me on instagram so you can just stay up to date with what i'm doing and also just watch my videos continuously because i'm telling you i've been linking some good sauce but you already know the deal all the links are in the description if you need my instagram my beat stars drumify split mind all that stuff should be down there other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.